Hello viewers, welcome to my channel IITJ Olympia Arts and AP Physics with Ambarish. And today I brought another interesting problem from Pathfinder. This is Pathfinder Kinematics Build Your Understanding. Problem 7 that involves uh, uh, building a stick bridge for an ant to cross a, a cylindrical uh, groove. So uh, some of my students they were facing problem and actually there's some twist. Uh, it's not a simple problem in uh, normal maxima and minima in calculus. and. Uh, that's why students sometimes get a wrong answer and then they're worried what what happened so without much ado let's straight away get into the problem let's see so here's the problem okay a semi cylindrical groove of radius small r is equal to 20 centimeter is made on a horizontal floor and ant wants to cross the groove okay so here's the cylindrical groove and an ant has to cross the groove with help of stick bridges okay so a boy decides to help the ant making the bridge consisting of straight wire segments but all the wires available are of l is equal to 38 centimeter so these sticks are 38 centimeter long each so the boy rigidly connects the two wires at right angle and places the bridge in the groove as shown in the figure so they are connected at 90 degree angle and uh, the boy has placed it like this okay uh, if the ant can crawl up a wire segment at a speed of 0 0.5 centimeter per second and down the wire segment at uh, 2v okay so that is uh, 1 centimeter per second in what minimum time can the ant cross the groove with the help of the bridge okay so this is the problem if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my analysis right away let's see okay so what i've done i have chosen a parameter theta let's say this uh, angle is theta and uh, this radius is r so this radius is also r this radius is also r so this is an isosceles triangle so let's say this is the uh, effective length of the first stick that will be 2r cos theta right and uh, this will be similarly what uh, this is 2r so this is theta this is 90 minus theta so this length is 2r sin theta okay and one thing you can uh, see that uh, since descent velocity is more than the ascent velocity so out of two symmetric paths that means uh, let's say one path is like this and the other path is like this obviously the first path will require smaller time why because the descent velocity is 2v and ascent velocity is v so uh, for the same amount of uh, uh, these two distances or rather mirror image distances you can see that we would prefer a path with a greater descent distance and smaller ascent distance so this much is clear that our path should be somewhere over here that is theta should be less than 45 degree why for uh, less than 45 degree because in the middle if you take theta this angle will be 45 degree and 45 degree so one thing we can say for sure that theta must be less than 45 degree so that descent distance is more than the ascent distance that much should be uh, readily um, inferred from the uh, uh, problem and the conditions that are given okay so since the descent speed is more than the ascent speed for minimum time we expect descent distance to be larger than the ascent distance for choosing among two mirror image paths that I told you uh, this or its mirror image path this so out of this definitely the first one will be uh, giving a smaller time because it has uh, greater descent distance okay so uh, we can say that theta must be definitely more than 45 degree okay and also we can say that 2r cos theta must be less than equal to l so this distance is 2r cos theta this is r this is r so this uh, is 2r cos theta you can drop a perpendicular and maximum length of the stick is 38 centimeter so that means what this part must be obviously less than or equal to 38 centimeter okay or we can say cos theta must be less than or equal to 38 by 40 if you calculate that's 0 0.95 that much we can say that this cos theta must be less than uh, 0 0.95 so so far we have uh, uh, seen that uh, it it can be i mean it will theta will be definitely more than 45 degree and cos theta will be definitely less than 0.95 okay now what about the time of crossing so if i want to make the function you can see descent distance is 2r cos theta and descent speed is 2v so 2r cos theta upon 2v is this time and then uh, ascent time is uh, 2r sin theta divided by small v you take r by v common and the function in the uh, bracket that remains is 2 sin theta plus cos theta now uh, what do you feel like doing naturally you want to differentiate it and try to minimize it with respect to theta so it will turn out that when I do the differentiation and try to uh, make the derivative zero, it happens to be not a condition for minima, but a condition for maxima. Let's see. So putting the, uh, so, uh, uh, okay. So I've just put the value of R and V and this is the function. Okay. So then now, now the minimum time could either be at the end points of the domain or uh, meet the condition of minima according to calculus that is the derivative being zero. 
So first time checking what happens when I make the derivative zero. So if I put d theta by dt equal to zero, I get tan theta equal to two, or cos theta is one by root five and sine theta is two by root five. So uh, is this a condition for minimum or maximum? So you take the second derivative and put the value of sine theta and cos theta, and it turns out uh, that uh, this is uh, uh, this this should have been plus rather. But in any case, uh, you can see this is minus three by root five then. So this is uh, minus three by root five, and uh, you see uh, the second derivative is negative. Second derivative negative means it's a condition for maximum and not a minimum. Okay, so so calculus did not give us the uh, minimum time. So that means what what happens in that case? Uh, uh, so then you look for the end points of the domain for uh, minimum, right? Because uh, in between you are getting maximum. So it's not the calculus peak that we are interested in now. So this is the maxima condition. We look at the endpoints for minima. So one of the endpoints you see was uh, uh, cos theta is being 0.95. So if cos theta is 0.95, sine theta is under root of one uh, minus cos square theta. So one minus 0.95 square. So if you calculate this time, this comes out to be 62.98 seconds. So that's the uh, one endpoint value. The other uh, 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 thing can be. Theta is equal to 45 degree, and if you calculate, that comes out to be more than that. Okay, so that's 84.8 second. Okay, so uh, if you uh, take the smaller of the two, finally you get minimum time being uh, 63 second. It comes out to be 62.98. That's approximately 63 seconds. Okay, so that was my analysis for the problem. I hope you enjoyed the analysis, and if you did enjoy the analysis. Uh, and you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with them and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please uh, hit that subscribe button right now because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video for you uh, frequently thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you